We do one bird. Come glad morning when this life is over. Fly away to a home on the western shore. I'd like to say this morning that we're certainly thankful. Uh, I know uh, uh, Cason and uh, Brandon and Dana are so thankful for all you that showed up for their sons baptizing. And uh, we love you out of the bottom of our heart. And uh, I want to say this today. Uh, if you're here lost and undone and God speaks with your heart, Amen. there's no better place to be saved than right here. Uh, we, we love everybody. We've had a good week. And... Uh, been praying for this young man for I don't know quite some time, and uh, but I'm glad that the Lord saved his soul. And, uh, uh, this is the next part. This is our confession of faith to the world that God has made a difference in our life. And uh, y'all just pray uh, for today's service. We ask Chris if he would uh, to bring the message. Uh, uh, but we love you. I'll have a bomb of heart. But I feel it needful. Uh, before we get started, that we go to the Lord in prayer and uh, just pray that God's will might be done one more time uh, this morning. Brother Kenny, wherever you're at, would you lead us? Our Father, Lord, and our most precious Savior, God, we thank you, Lord, for this special day that, God, you've granted us here this morning, God, and we thank you most of all this morning, God, for the perfect work, Lord, that uh, you've done around our little church here lately, Lord, the souls, Lord, yes. that have uh, been saved through your marvelous grace, God. I thank you above all this morning for that, Lord. And God, as we gather out here this morning, Lord, as to uh, see Brother Case and baptize this morning and uh, knowledge, Lord, what you've done for him there this morning, God. We pray, Lord, that uh, they would be others, Lord, that would come, uh, uh, Lord, preaching you through the Holy Ghost of God, and, uh, Lord, that they might find an altar, Lord, and uh, bow before a risen Savior and ask for forgiveness and ask you to save them. God, we thank you, Lord, this morning for your saving grace. Lord, for your mercy and your patience with us. God, I pray that you go with us throughout the service. <clears throat> Bless Brother Chris, Lord, as he brings the message this morning. And like Brother Mickey always says, God, if there's one here this morning, God, we pray, Lord, that you touch the heart, Lord, of the lost this morning. God, forgive us what we fail you, Lord, and come short. We ask these things in the name of your precious dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sing, uh, Brandon's gonna come, or y'all gonna sing one before Chris preaches, or what? Let Brandon come. Brandon? Come forward. I ain't getting you. Good night, Lord. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. <laughs> was blind. But now I see T'was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace 
my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers, tolls, and snaps I have already come tis grace that brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home when we've been there ten thousand years bright shining as the sun we've known less days to sing God's praise than we when we first begun Praise God, 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 praise God. Praise God, praise God. Say, I appreciate the opportunity to, to come and stand by the, what we would call the liquid grave, a place that would represent a picture of the death, burial, and resurrection that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ give us a free gift of salvation and we're so thankful that Case and Fount the Lord and I appreciate this opportunity to, to be before Pleasant Hill again and uh, y'all raised me and I love you, <laughs> love you and Lord. still got a special place in my heart and we thank you for all the opportunities we had there at Pleasant Hill and just because you move on uh, doesn't mean that people leave your heart. You still pray for them, you still love them, and you still care for them. Well, and I want you to know that. But I want I've got a little scripture I want to read this morning. It's probably a little bit different than what you've heard at a baptizing. Uh, but without this, you can't have a baptizing. Amen. And I want to I want to go back to John chapter number three this morning and read just a few verses, and we'll see what the Lord has uh, for us to say, and we'll we'll go on with the furtherance of the service. But I begin to think about the word born again. The word born again is only appears three times in the King James Version. Two times it appears in John chapter number 3. One time it appears in 1 Peter chapter number 1 in verse number 23. But only three times in the Bible that word is mentioned, born again. But my, my, listen, if we could pull back eternity today, and look at the importance of being born again and what really and truly being born again is. I believe every one of us would get on our tiptoes and shout to the Lord Jesus Christ this Amen. morning. Bless you think Lord. about being born. I'll say this. Uh, if you're only born one time in this world, you'll die twice. Amen. But if you're born twice, you'll only die one time. Amen. And here I find that a, a ruler, a man by the name of Nicodemus, the Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse number 1, there was a certain man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. That, that word Nicodemus means superior. I mean, he was the, he was the upper enchilon. He was one of, the, one of the 70 members of the Sanhedrin. Don't worry about those kids. Y'all look at me this morning. I'm preaching. Listen, that, he was one of the 70 members of the Sanhedrin. He was what you call the upper crust. I, you know, the upper crust is just a bunch of crumbs held together by their own dough anyway. <laughs> he was the enchilon. He was the upper. He was the upper tier. And so he came to Jesus, and the Bible says he came by night. Now, 
a lot of people said that he came by night because he was ashamed that maybe some of the other Sanhedrin uh, would notice him. Some of the other Sanhedrin would, would uh, maybe be ashamed of him for going to Jesus because Jesus was preaching another, another doctrine and another gospel, something foreign that was to him. But I don't believe that. I believe, I believe the old boy was under conviction, Kenny. I really do. I believe he went home that night and I believe the Holy Ghost of God was dealing with him. And I believe God was, was, was manifesting himself to Nicodemus. And Nicodemus came by night and he spoke to Jesus and he said these words. And he said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles except thou uh, that God be with him. Now look, I want to show you what Jesus says in, in, in verse number 3. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. You say, Preacher, what is the kingdom of God? You go to Romans chapter 14 and verse 17. He says the kingdom of God is not, it's not meat and drink, but it's righteousness and joy. And, and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You see, the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. And Nicodemus didn't know anything about that. You know, I want to say this, that when we get born again, in other words, when we get the life of God in us, and, and the other Sunday morning when Cason came down, he got the life of God in him. You see, Cason was born of, of Brandon and Dana Smith. He, he come from their lineage. He's got their chromosomes. I mean, he's got their genetic makeup. I mean, he come from them. I remember when he was born and going down to the hospital and <laughs> yep. seeing that big black hair, a, a head of hair he had. And I said, there ain't no way. I said, he didn't take that of his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> then I looked at his hands and I said, yeah, that's, that's Brandon's boy. But you know, he's got the genetical makeup from that firstborn, from his mother and from his father. But he got the genetical makeup in that second birth from his father in heaven. Amen. You see, when Jesus Christ comes in, listen, we're not, listen, being born again is, is not getting us into heaven, amen. Listen, it's getting the God of heaven into us. I mean, it's a spiritual kingdom. I mean, it's righteousness, it's peace, and it's joy in the Holy Ghost of God. I mean, when we get something as big as God in us, how can we, how can we contain ourselves? How can we sit around and twiddle our thumbs? I mean, you think about it, being born of God, being having God in us. Us, amen. That's something to shout about. Yeah. Amen. And so you just see, uh, my, many of y'all were probably gathered around the other morning when Cason got saved. But my, my, Mickey, if we could have seen what was going on. <laughs> amen. If we could have seen what was taking place in heaven. Blessing the Lord. Bible says there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels. You say, amen. listen, some people say the angels. No, it didn't say the angels were rejoicing. It said in the presence of the angels. I believe grandmothers and grandfathers and old saints of God that have amen. went on before us Bless and have stretched us in this world. I believe they were around the balconies of heaven and they were rejoicing and praying. Praising God over one more soul Amen. that was born again. Amen. Listen, not only when we're born again do we get the character, we, we get the life of God, we get the character of God. Listen, I want to say this today. Listen, if if all if your religion hadn't changed you, you got the wrong religion. Amen. I mean, you get the character of God when you're born again. Those thoughts that you had before, listen, you've got something to help you with them now. Those places you used to go before, you've got something to help you with them now. Listen, when we're born into the family of God Almighty, friend, we get the character of a heavenly God. That's right. You say, what's the importance of being born again? Listen, I could go out town today and I could preach a message about being born again. I could preach a message about the kingdom of God and people would walk by me and they would ignore me. And listen, I don't mean to hurt your feelings this morning, but listen, when a man of God's preaching, you don't worry about children. You don't worry about, you don't worry about horses running in the pasture. You don't worry about a tractor moving up and down the road. I'm telling you what, you think about heaven and the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen, brother. I'm going to tell you, Mick, that's what's wrong today. <laughs> that's right. We forgot where we came from. We forgot, Brother Billy, what, what God done for us when He made us alive in Christ Jesus and we were born again. You see, as I said on the onset, listen, if you're just born one time, you'll die twice. The Bible says there's a second death for those that never accept Jesus. 
No, my soul, I don't wish that anybody under the sound of my voice, listen, I don't wish anybody that's over at the horse barn today, I don't wish anybody that's at my, my family's home, listen, I'll say it and proclaim it today, listen, if you're only born one time and you've only got a physical birth and you've never had the spiritual birth, you'll die twice. Amen. 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 But if you've been born twice, listen, I don't know one of these days y'all gonna pick up a paper I don't know, newspapers are kind of obsolete nowadays. One of these days you may pick up a Facebook or something like that or read on your phone an obituary and it'll say the old preacher's gone. There'll be some of them that'll shout and say, I never did like him anyway. All he done was hollered and screamed and preached. And some will say, I'm sorry for his family. But I want to tell you one thing. Listen, because I've had two births, friend, I'll never die again. I'll live Amen. with Jesus Christ Bless throughout eternity. And friend, I'm so glad today. <laughs> But I'm born again. That's right. That's you see, right. born again ain't just a word. Just because it's only three times in the Bible. Listen, there is emphasis. Now, the whole book of John is about living. And I'll say today, listen, you young children, you listen to me really, really well. I want everybody's attention. Listen, until you get Jesus Christ in your heart, you're not truly living. Your, your, soul and, your soul and spirit's attached to the sins of your body. But when you're born again, there's a new man that comes on the inside. An incorruptible man. Listen, an incorruptible seed is planted on the inside. And when you've got that seed, you'll never die again. Listen, God help that we'd ever stand over somebody over a cemetery or over a graveside service and know that somebody didn't have two births on this side. A physical one and a spiritual one. Amen. Now listen to what John says. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born if he's old? And enter the second time into his mother's womb. You see that old self-righteous religious man? He said, now how in the world are you going to take me and put me back in my mother's womb and let me be born again? Now listen to what Jesus said. Jesus answered and said, Dearly, dearly, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit. You see, the water represents the physical birth. Listen, when you were born, at some point, your mother had to say that there came a time when, when the cervical plug uh, was opened up and the water flowed, and that is the physical. But he said you can't just be born of water. You've got to be born of the Spirit too. Amen. And he said he cannot enter in to the kingdom of God. Now some of you know what I'm talking about this morning. Some of you have been born twice. Some of you... Listen, Cason's got an experience now that he's been born twice. Now he'll only die once, but there's some of you here I'm satisfied that's never been born twice. You've never received. Listen, I've got something at night, Brother Mickey, that'll help me. Uh, I've got right, not my righteousness, <laughs> no. but I've got righteousness. Right. And I've got peace. Yep. And I've got joy <laughs> in the Holy Ghost. You see, I've got the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. I don't see it with my own eyes. And Nicodemus couldn't see it with his eyes. But friend, I'm going to tell you, the morning I got saved, I want to say, I felt, and not only did I feel, I saw the kingdom of God. Amen. I didn't see Bless firecrackers and bells and whistles. Nope. But I'm going to tell you what, righteousness. I loved everybody that morning. Everybody in Old King Creek Baptist Church, I wanted to hug their neck. I got the righteousness of God instilled in me. I had peace because that burden that I was carrying, that I was lost and undone. And one of these days, if I didn't get saved, I was going to hell. And I got peace about that. Amen. And then not long after that, I got joy in the Holy Ghost. I remember coming home that Sunday morning. I remember hugging my mom's neck. I couldn't wait to tell her that I'd been born again. My question to you this morning, have you been born again? Have you had two births? Have you had the, I know you had the physical birth, you wouldn't be here. I had a fellow one time, he asked me for my, he said, I need your birth certificate. And I said, what do you need my birth certificate for? He said, I need proof that you, a uh, proof of your birth. I said, I'm here. Why do you need that? Bless him, Lord. I don't need proof that you was born one time. And I'm going to tell you what, when it comes time for the man of God to stand over your body, there needs to be proof. Amen. Amen. That's birth. right, brother. Amen. 
<laughs> You've got to be born again. Amen. And I'm going to say, listen, Brother Mickey, as they get a song, if it'll be all right you, I'd like to give an invitation Your down word, by the water you side read this my mind. I feel like God, I feel like a God of all of eternity could come down today and save somebody. Amen. And give them a Bud from the Lord. Let them be born into the family Heard of God. Y'all pray, please pray. I want you to ask this question this morning. You you ask yourself this morning. Now listen, were you born? Listen, you go back to the time that you were born. Some of you were born down at the medical center in Gainesville. Some of you were born at the medical center here in Dahlonega. Some of you might have been born at home. I want you to go back. And you, you earnestly go back and think about the first time you were born. But I want to ask you, can you go back to a time when you had that spiritual birth? You were born again. You see, if you have not had that spiritual birth, I beg and I plead with you that you just kneel where you're at. You ain't got to step out in front of nobody. It's a condition of the heart anyway. You just kneel where you're at. I guarantee you there's some born-again Christians here today that'll get around you and pray for you. Amen. 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 I feel the presence of God. I do too, brother. Let's have an invitational song. Listen, if you're here today, listen, and you've never been born again, you've never been born into the family of God. Listen, God's wanting to give you a new life, and God's wanting to give you a new character, and Jesus Christ can save you in a little old pasture field beside little Cane Creek this morning. And Jesus Christ, He can still save. Amen. We've seen Jesus Christ save in revivals over the next, the last few weeks, and God's been pouring out that wonderful Spirit. He can do it here this morning. Y'all come on with a song as we sing. Are you born again? Are you born again? cason has got the testimony now that he's born again. He's going to go into a liquid grave in a minute. We're going to baptize him. And he's going to come up in newness of life. Brother Mickey's going to say he's, he's baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost trying to show you and get you the understanding that when he got born again, he got the Trinity, he got the Godhead, he didn't get just one or two, he Amen. got them all. Amen, brother. Are you born again? Y'all sing. Y'all sing. Just How about it? Just you born again? Don't be like Nicodemus. Don't be too proud to, to kneel down. Listen, Nicodemus, that old conviction was dealing with him. He slipped in there by night. Don't be ashamed of the Lord Jesus. He's the greatest, he's the greatest entity that will ever enter. Give you newness of life. He can do it. Jesus can this morning. How about it, Jesus? God's speaking to you. Just kneel where you're at. That's the Lord is saying you. The Bible says we have not because we ask not. Have you asked the Lord to save you? Have you asked Him? Have you pleaded with Him? So Lord, I don't want to just have I don't want to die twice. Just give me one day. Death of that physical. Give me birth of the Spirit. Appreciate your I appreciate your attendance this morning. I appreciate you listening this morning. And I want to say this. I, I'm so glad that Cason found that new birth. Amen. Are we glad this morning? Say amen. amen. I mean, a new child of God is entered in to the kingdom of God. Now we don't have to worry about Cason having righteousness. He's got it, he's got the imputed righteousness of Christ. Now we don't have to worry about him having peace. He's got peace now. We don't have to worry about him having the Holy Ghost. He's got it. It's joy in the Holy Ghost, Brother Nicky. We uh we appreciate the message and the, uh, the spirit that was preached in. I just want to say one thing this morning. When when Nicodemus talked to him, what was the answer? He says, "You must be born again, not might, maybe, or whatever." He says, "You must be born again." This is not uh, if you want to. This ain't if you get to it. 
you've got to be saved by the grace of God this morning to enter into the kingdom of heaven. I want you to realize that. Amen. And there's got to be a separation from the world and from us, Chris, from God. There, there's got to be a separation when we're willing to leave uh, the world down and let God come in and work in our life. Without that, we, we have no hope. But I'm thankful for the blood of Jesus Christ today that's going to wash away our sins. This, this body of water right here, all it is is a confession unto the world that the Lord has come down into our life and we promised to Him that we would live for Him. I want to say one more verse. Chris, come back out here and say, I'm not ready to give up this morning. If you're here and you don't know the Lord, maybe you realize today that you don't have what these others have. Yeah. Maybe you realize that uh, you're tired of being scared at night and not being able to go to sleep, but uh, Chris already talked to you, the best peace you can have is in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. He can comfort you when nobody else can. And He wants to. That's the big part. He wants you to be saved. One more verse, church, if you will. Yes, take this opportunity uh, to open the doors of Pleasant Hill Baptist Church on the one hand. If you're here today and have a testimony that the Lord has saved your soul and you'd like to unite with this church as a candidate for baptism, uh, why don't we sing a verse of some song? Uh, the doors of Pleasant Hill Baptist Church are now open. if you would come around here and stand and we're going to give everybody just a second Chris I feel like it'd be needful if you and Brandon come and stood with us and let everybody get a picture before uh, the baptizing I want to tell you this morning, church, that we love you above our heart. I appreciate the message that Chris brought, the Spirit of God, Lord, that I felt in my heart. And he's in revival, and I just, he needs to steal away uh, and go on to the revival. So I just, I want y'all to pray. Uh, I, Chris, I pray that y'all got lost souls this morning. Amen. Come up to the altar to be saved. And Brandon's going to go down in the water with us. What a great privilege. <laughs> To go down to this liquid grave with your son, naturally speaking. But but I want to go with my father, don't you? <laughs> I, I believe this morning without a shadow of a doubt that God is pleased with this. So <clears throat> we'll go into the water if you'll take. Y'all got your... Anything in the pocket you don't want with? 
Okay. Shall we gather the room? Shall we gather at the river the beauty of trauma with its crystal tide forever flowing from the throne of God? Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Our Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we come to you this day. God, Lord, we ask you, Father, Lord, <laughs> Lord, you might ever walk with this young man, Lord, all the days of his life, God. And Lord, when he gets the way of the world upon him, God, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, that he'll remember, God, Lord, what you done in the old country church, Lord, when you saved his soul, God, and Lord, I ask you not only to be with him, God, Lord, but his entire family, God. And Lord, what a glorious day, God, Lord, you've given us up. Uh, Lord, by your commandment, God, Lord, your, uh, by your uh, confession, Father, Lord, we pray. God, Lord, that this might be a light, God. Uh, uh, Lord, to a lost and a dying world. Uh, uh, Lord, a place, Lord, that uh, as Brother Chris has said, God, Lord, that he's received a second birth. Our Father, God, Lord, we ask you, God, Lord, if we come down to this liquid grave, God, Lord, you just might bless, God, in a mighty way. By your confession of faith, my brother, I ask, Father, Lord, you just go with us now, God, and uh, Lord, that you might, Lord, just take him all the days of his life. I baptize thee, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Love you, son. <laughs> I'd like to say that we appreciate. Uh, you got anything you want to say, son? I want to thank the Lord for saving my son. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's probably the greatest words that you'd ever hear in the house of God. I thank the Lord for saving my soul. I hope and pray uh, this morning that everybody running about this little creek side be able to say they thank the Lord <laughs> for saving their soul. I don't know how many more days we got left. You can look at the times and see how everything has changed, but God is still God today. God still can save if you'll just believe on Him. We'll give a few times for pictures, and then uh, we're going to assemble back at the church and uh, have the charging of the candidates and a uh, presentation of the Bible. So, uh, y'all, I hope He gets every one of you soaking wet. <laughs> We love you. Come be with us if you can. Y'all got all you need. We need to get done now.